Before dawn, it started to rain outside, and the windows were knocked by one drop after another. Wei Wuxian's feet were exposed outside, swaying from side to side following the rhythm of the wind. Lan Wangji asked, Are you sleepy? No, go to sleep. The tone was a little happy. The sound of the rain outside the window made people feel sleepy. It is true that Lan Wangji was not fully awake yet, and his vision was foggy. The routine he followed all year round made his body assume that now was the time to rest, and he should not wake up yet. Wei Wuxian looked at the patterns on the curtain beside the bed, and suddenly said, Hey, Lan Zhan, have we been to this inn before? When I was with the juniors, I did come here. Lan Wangji hummed slowly. What a coincidence. Wei Wuxian propped up his knee and put the other leg on it, second brother Lan probably didn't know that someone secretly kissed you here at that time. Thinking of this, Wei Wuxian couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth, with a very proud expression. Someone was kissed several times, and he didn't know anything the next day. Lan Wangji looked surprised as if he really didn't know. Wei Wuxian just laughed. The undiscovered secret, the strangle marks on the wrist, the sincerity after drinking, the life in bed led no distance between them. Lan Wangji is no longer serious in front of Wei Wuxian, but affectionate. Lan Wangji turned over and kissed him delicately, rubbing his nose and biting his lower lip, but not deeply. Like silent revenge, but also like clumsy flattery. He is not a person who likes to reveal emotions, but in front of Wei Wuxian, he always loses his composure, because of this person, he will soften his heart and become affectionate. He felt as if he was no longer himself. Just ordinary, like a teenager who just learned about the fun of love. But this himself, he likes it very much. Lan Wangji had never thought about what it would be like to be in love with another person. He had thought it would be more turbulent and intense, but in fact, it was very gentle and restful. The wind is blowing outside the house, but inside there is a small piece of cleanliness and warmth in his heart. The bright green leaves and swollen flower buds of plantains were all wet from the dense rain. The two stayed together for a while until it was completely dawn. Lan Wangji sat up and put on his coat. I'm going to buy breakfast. Okay. Wei Wuxian rubbed his eyes and he looked still a little sleepy, I'll go down later. Lan Wangji rubbed the back of his head and said softly, go to sleep. The mountains outside the window were rich in green and the sky was blue with clouds, but it is fine weather. There were already a lot of people eating breakfast in the lobby, Wei Wuxian walked down the stairs and brushed past the inn owner. A waiter was chatting with the guests, talking about some fun news today, and there was a jingle outside, and suddenly it became lively. The waiter explained. That's a good sign, meaning there is a show today, and a juggling performance. It's not a holiday, is it? Big families marry brides, hold banquets, and give out free porridge. The guest nodded, very good, very good. When Wei Wuxian left the inn, he happened to see a group of people. He looked around, but couldn't find the one he wanted to see. The streets here are not wide, with brick walls and concrete floors, but they are very clean. Many people were walking the street. The crowd was bustling and scattered, leaving only Lan Wangji standing still. When the cloud comes, he was in the shadow, when the cloud goes away, he looked bright. Wei Wuxian walked towards him quickly, the distance between the two gradually narrowed, and finally hugged each other.